We're in Glasgow today um, for the Condition of Britain programme. Um, we're talking to people about work and social security. We had a great focus group yesterday talking to some people about what contributory, contributory benefits might look like. Yeah, I live in the south side of Glasgow in what was a good area in Glasgow. Um, the last number of years it has really taken a downturn. The amount of people who moved in or been moved in by the state has led to it becoming a bit of a party zone if you like. Um, last year, um, about March time, my partner found himself out of work. He was working for a, quite a big civil engineering company who were then paying people off. So he got a week's notice and then found himself unemployed. Um, with the market, he thought he'd be back in work really quickly, um, but ended up being off and out of work for longer than he expected to be. Now, through maybe a lack of social housing, the state are putting people in who don't work at all, they're up partying to maybe half eleven, half two, half three, midweek, as well as the weekends, and life is just a bit of a jolly. He was going for numerous interviews and applying for lots of jobs. Sometimes companies wouldn't even get back to him, and because of our situation, a lot of the jobs were maybe down south or um, just not not suitable for him, for us as a family. So um, I was working part time, so I had to basically survive on my salary and um, he also thought that he would get in work so initially didn't claim any benefits and things so by the time he did we were like really really struggling and just had to rely on any savings that we did have and sort of family members to support us where they could. We just visited a really excellent back to work charity called Roots to Work working in Motherwell uh, with people on long term unemployment and we're just off to the Glasgow Centre for Inclusive Living who do a lot of work with young disabled people trying to help them into work and then we'll finish with a roundtable meeting at the Scottish Council for Voluntary Organisations uh, talking to a range of charities who help people into work um, in the city and in Scotland more generally. After a couple of months of focusing on more graduate placements I moved on to just sort of finding work in general which I found to be quite a difficult task as I was almost in a middle ground as throughout university I was unable to work due to my visual impairment and how much extra work I always had to put in. Basically going in, getting real work experience, training, personal development, job seeking skills, equipping them to move into further employment. The work experience here has helped me a lot. I've gained invaluable skills which I wouldn't be able to gain without getting into work. I now looking back almost over questions for involved in graduate interviews, I can actually give examples within a working environment which is what they seem to sort of value a lot.